In fluid dynamics, the Boussinesq approximation for water waves is an approximation valid for weakly nonlinear and fairly long waves. The approximation is named after Joseph Boussinesq, who first derived them in response to the observation by John Scott Russell of the wave of translation. The 1872 paper of Boussinesq introduces the equations now known as the Boussinesq equations. The Boussinesq approximation for water waves takes into account the vertical structure of the horizontal and vertical flow velocity. This results in nonlinear partial differential equations, called Boussinesq type equations, which incorporate frequency dispersion. In coastal engineering, Boussinesq type equations are frequently used in computer models for the simulation of water waves in shallow seas and harbors. While the Boussinesq approximation is applicable to fairly long waves, that is, when the wavelength is large compared to the water depth, the Stokes expansion is more appropriate for short waves. Boussinesq approximation The essential idea in the Boussinesq approximation is the elimination of the vertical coordinate from the flow equations, while retaining some of the influences of the vertical structure of the flow under water waves. This is useful because the waves propagate in the horizontal plane and have a different behavior in the vertical direction. Often, as in Boussinesq's case, the interest is primarily in the wave propagation. Subsequently, in 1872, Boussinesq derived the equations known nowadays as the Boussinesq equations. The steps in the Boussinesq approximation are, a Taylor expansion is made of the horizontal and vertical flow velocity around a certain elevation. This Taylor expansion is truncated to a finite number of terms. The conservation of mass for an incompressible flow and the zero curl condition for an irrotational flow are used to replace vertical partial derivatives of quantities in the Taylor expansion with horizontal partial derivatives. As a result, the resulting partial differential equations are in terms of functions of the horizontal coordinates. As an example, consider potential flow over a horizontal bed in the plane, with x the horizontal and z the vertical coordinate. The bed is located at z equals minus h, where h is the mean water depth. A Taylor expansion is made of the velocity potential phi around the bed level z equals minus h, where phi b is the velocity potential at the bed. Invoking Laplace's equation for phi, as valid for incompressible flow, gives, since the vertical velocity phi z is zero at the impermeable horizontal bed z equals minus h, this series may subsequently be truncated to a finite number of terms. Original Boussinesq equations, derivation for water waves on an incompressible fluid and a rotational flow in the plane. The boundary conditions at the free surface elevations z equals eta r, where u is the horizontal flow velocity component, u equals phi x, w is the vertical flow velocity component, w equals phi z, g is the acceleration by gravity. Now the Boussinesq approximation for the velocity potential phi, as given above, is applied in these boundary conditions. Further, in the resulting equations only the linear and quadratic terms with respect to eta and up are retained. The cubic and higher order terms are assumed to be negligible. Then, the following partial differential equations are obtained. Set A, Boussinesq, equation This set of equations has been derived for a flat horizontal bed, i.e., the mean depth h is a constant independent of position x. When the right-hand sides of the above equations are set to zero, they reduce to the shallow water equations, under some additional approximations, but at the same order of accuracy. The above set A can be reduced to a single partial differential equation for the free surface elevation A to set B, Boussinesq, equation from the terms between brackets. The importance of nonlinearity of the equation can be expressed in terms of the Ursel number, in dimensionless quantities, using the water depth h and gravitational acceleration g for non-dimensionalization, this equation reads, 
after normalization. With linear frequency dispersion water waves of different wavelengths travel with different phase speeds, a phenomenon known as frequency dispersion. For the case of infinitesimal wave amplitude, the terminology is linear frequency dispersion. The frequency dispersion characteristics of a Boussinesque type of equation can be used to determine the range of wavelengths, for which it is a valid approximation. The linear frequency dispersion characteristics for the above set A of equations are, with, C the phase speed, K the wave number, the relative error in the phase speed C for set A, as compared with linear theory for water waves is less than 4% for a relative wave number kh less than 1 half pi. So, in engineering applications, set A is valid for wavelengths lambda larger than 4 times the water depth h. The linear frequency dispersion characteristics of equation B are, the relative error in the phase speed for equation B is less than 4% for kh less than 2 pi 7 equivalent to wavelengths lambda longer than 7 times the water depth h, called fairly long waves. For short waves with k2h2 greater than 3 equation b become physically meaningless, because there are no longer real valued solutions of the phase speed. The original set of two partial differential equations does not have this shortcoming. The shallow water equations have a relative error in the phase speed less than 4% for wavelengths lambda in excess of 13 times the water depth h. Boussinesque type equations and extensions. There are an overwhelming number of mathematical models which are referred to as Boussinesque equations. This may easily lead to confusion, since often they are loosely referenced to as the Boussinesque equations, while in fact a variant thereof is considered, so it is more appropriate to call them Boussinesque type equations. Strictly speaking, the Boussinesque equations is the above-mentioned set B, since it is used in the analysis in the remainder of his 1872 paper. Some directions, into which the Boussinesque equations have been extended, are varying bathymetry, improved frequency dispersion, improved nonlinear behavior, making a Taylor expansion around different vertical elevations, dividing the fluid domain in layers, and applying the Boussinesque approximation in each layer separately. Inclusion of wave breaking, inclusion of surface tension, extension to internal waves on an interface between fluid domains of different mass density, derivation from a variational principle, further approximations for one-way wave propagation. While the Boussinesque equations allow for waves traveling simultaneously in opposing directions, it is often advantageous to only consider waves traveling in one direction. Under small additional assumptions, the Boussinesque equations reduce to the court weg de Vries equation for wave propagation in one horizontal dimension, the kadamsev petviashvili equation for wave propagation in two horizontal dimensions, the nonlinear Schrödinger equation for the complex-valued amplitude of narrowband waves. Besides solitary wave solutions, the court weg de Vries equation also has periodic and exact solutions, called snoidal waves. These are approximate solutions of the Boussinesque equation. Numerical models For the simulation of wave motion near coasts and harbors, numerical models, both commercial and academic, employing Boussinesque type equations exist. Some examples are the Boussinesque type wave modules in MIC-21 and SMS. Most numerical models employ finite difference, finite volume or finite element techniques for the discretization of the model equations. Scientific reviews and intercomparisons of several Boussinesque type equations, their numerical approximation and performance are e.g. Kirby, Dingemans and Ham, Madsen and Peregrine.